Hello guys and welcome to another video with Cass on the Mesma channel. So I have been working a lot with Pistonless Redstone lately and there are a bunch of things that I that I want to share with you guys. So today I will show you a bunch of different uh, T-flip flops. Uh, some of them were created by me, some of them were not, but all of them are very interesting. We will as well explore some of the the very details of the game, some of the bugs of the game related to T flip flops and other things. So hopefully you guys will be interested in what I have to show you today. The basic functionality of a T flip flop is right here. I click the, the, the input and it changes inside. So it's a kind of memory, a one bit memory. And if I give it the exact same input, it changes the memory, basically switching it from one state to other. And here we have two good examples. So yeah, we have this first one, it's just a pair of hoppers facing each other. Inside the hoppers we have uh, one item and then we can read uh, the, the pair of comparators using a, a comparator. <laughs> the, pair, the pair of hoppers using one comparator. So yeah, that's what's going on here. So basically, uh, the time this button takes to uh, reactivate uh, this torch here is is such that the, the, ice, the item goes back and forth between those two and uh, eventually it will it will stop where it wasn't before. Uh, this happens all the time. This also works with a wooden button. This is tileable by the way and let me quickly show you how you would go about that. So uh, to make it tileable just use repeaters and by tileable I mean you can stack them together side by side in such a way that they work independently. Uh, so let me use some support blocks here, place the hoppers here, and I hold shift, and those are all connected. Place one item inside each of those. Uh, I won't hook, hook up the lamp, I'll just show you the comparator, and then you guys will know what's going on. And finally, your input goes in here. You could use, your, you could have uh, solid blocks here and lamps here. I'm going to be lazy and not show you this, but basically, you can see that I can turn on and off this one. I can turn off this one independently. I can uh, control all of them independently. So one thing that you might not like about this design is that it flickers. So if you want to turn something something like this torch off, it will stay off, but before it does, it will also pulse the torch, which is something we usually don't want. So in order to prevent such behavior, uh, all you need to do is to place a repeater on four ticks in front of the comparators and problem solved. So look at this. This it will still blink, but it blinks too fast for the repeater to turn off or on and then as a result uh, the, the output will not flicker. Uh, another interesting thing that not a lot of people know is that uh, the timings for this thing uh, are, are the exact timings that you need to control a double extender. Uh, let me show you this. So it's just a T flip flop, but it, it will it will do a full retraction on a double extender, as you guys can see here. And this is stackable, <laughs> expandable, and all the redstone is on one side. So let me. So yeah, I cannot retract uh, those because this is budded, as as you can see here. This is powered, so this will update and break. But I can I can unpower this one, and if I if I use this one in the middle, it will it will break the other two. Uh, what else? If I want to do the extension, I have to click this three times, if I'm not mistaken. So, so state number one, state number two, and then it gets extended. Yeah, so three clicks to extend and a single click to retract. Pretty interesting, huh? So on this other side here, we have still an, another very popular uh, design. Uh, this is a dropper facing up. And yeah, you can see where this dropper is facing, it's sideways, and then this is a hopper connecting back into this uh, dropper. And yeah, it just spits out an a item, but this is not really stable. This is not the best way of powering this. The actual best way of powering uh, these kinds of uh, T-flip flops is by using a strong power from a repeater exactly here on the side on one of the sides this is the best way of powering them because 
powering them like this, like using redstone dust on top, uh, this won't work all the time. So let me just hook up uh, this with a torch and let's see if this will break. I haven't tested this in this specific position. So it turns off and it turns on. So yeah, it works here, but trust me, it, it won't work everywhere and you won't understand why. And the reason is this redstone dust here, it doesn't know if it, it if it wants to power this guy or this guy first. This is probably what causes the problem. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm just telling you that this causes problems. So if you want this to be 100% stable, uh, power it using a repeater, it will never fail. Uh, also, not everyone knows, but uh, this design is actually tileable. I have some people. Some people told me in the past that this is not; those are not tileable, but they are actually tileable. Uh, you cannot power them using a bunch of repeaters like this because, yeah, this block will power uh, in a block next to it. But there are other ways. I will just show you now by once again building uh, three copies of this, and this is so easy to build and like this ah, we don't need those. Uh, those let me check if i have only one item here as you can see here we have two items it's very important that we have only one item inside this little box and here the way to power this and make it tileable is just is simply by using redstone torches here and solid blocks here so uh yeah i will i will have the, my inputs back here it doesn't matter so I can power this one in the middle uh, if I can hit the button and I can power this I can empower this one and yeah this way they all work as tileable units and something that not everybody pays, pays attention to is sometimes this the item that that gets shot from here it will fly away and you don't want that so uh, you would like to have a for example how do you is it chest my cart? Yeah, chest my cart. So just just have a, a chest my cart here on top, and the item will be will be spit out inside this little chest here, and and you will never lose the item. So it's more stable if you do like if you do it like so. So there we go. Now let's move on to a different kind uh, of T flip of silent T flip flop or pistonless T flip flop. Uh, the ones based on clocks so yeah this is a rising edge version so yeah this is all that you need to make this work so it's a hopper dropper little combo here and uh, you have one item inside this and this works as a repeater lock it's not a repeater but it will lock uh, this repeater here and here we have a clock so if you if you break this this will actually uh, act as a clock so yeah you just lock the clock and the principle in, uh, which this is based on is uh, we will let the clock do a half cycle and then we will lock the repeater again so it will it will lock the state of the clock in a different state uh, compared to the compared to the previous state and this is how this works pretty cool pretty neat uh, this is really cool this is works even uh, with a zero tick input which is something that usually uh, silent, uh, silent, uh, silent. What, what am I doing a video about? Even <laughs> silent T flip flops. I'm sorry, guys, are not able to do because you know pistons. And yeah, so this is will create a zero tick pulse here, and we can see that the lamp turns on, the lamp turns off because it's based on a dropper hopper thingy here. So it doesn't matter the size of the pulse as input because. The size of the pulse is actually controlled by this except if you power this directly never power this using strong power always use a block or a torch or something like that you know and then you will be safe uh, this is another design that i came up with just recently uh, and the difference is uh, instead of using a block here and a redstone torch i use a comparator here so it's also a clock based thingy let me see if i'm able to yeah you can see here the difference is if you if you have a clock running that fast using torches it will burn out let me just place a torch here and try to demonstrate this please burn out yes it burned out you can see it, it doesn't respond to any pulses anymore uh but with a comparator uh the, the advantage is you can make this really fast because this torch because there are no torches so it won't burn out and this is a really fast um really fast flip-flop without pistons 
you can import it with a 3 tick pulse. I don't think it will respond uh, correctly to to anything below 3 tick uh, 3 ticks long. Let's let me just show you. So yeah, 3 tick pulse might be useful still, you know, uh, if you want a uh, if you want a a T flip flop that will ignore specific kinds of signals and when you're trying to do something a little bit more complex and very compact uh, you can use two tick pulses to to trick the, the t flip flop and then a trick tick pulse or larger will trigger it here we have yet another very interesting version so yeah it's all droppers nothing more so the way to build this is you place a drop here a dropper here and then rotate 90 degrees and place another one 90 degrees and then place this one and there you go this is how you build it place a comparator whatever you want your output to be place one item inside and then you can power it in many different ways so yeah i click the button it turns off i click it again it turns on same for all of those locations but there is an exception uh, like you can see that the system is completely symmetrical so there shouldn't be any difference here but there actually is if i press this button now it turns off and if I press it again it won't turn on and if I press it once again then it will turn on so it fails sometimes uh, yeah it failed again and then it turns on so you have to take this into consideration if I break this piece of redstone dust and try it again now so it turns off and then on and then off and then also it fixes the problem but this is a little bit finicky so yeah you need to watch out for those special cases every time you work with droppers like this it's always complicated uh, droppers can get budded and things like that and this is what complicates this complicates everything basically so a safer version of this is if you replace uh, two of the droppers on the diagonals with hoppers so you can see where this dropper is facing and then there is a hopper dropper another hopper and then we're back here and this is how I'm powering it so this is a lot safer uh, if you want to use this kind of t flip flop so it's not completely silent because it clicks of course but it's still pistolless and finally here I can show you what I call the the magic based t flip flops because i have absolutely no idea how those things work i just know they do and some of them are very buggy and very interesting so let's start with this one one of the most interesting designs uh, actually so let's press the button so you can see what i'm doing here so when i press the button i am power powering something that is already powered one tick later this torch will turn on and then when and when the button finally deactivates this line this entire line gets off gets off state and then one tick later the torch on redstone tick later the the torch will turn on so these two comparators here uh, have the job of detecting this this very quick uh low signal here and then doing something to this repeater here and as you can see it works as a t flip flop so the way I made this design actually looks a little bit silly because I could have just placed this guy right here and get rid of this entire line. So yeah, this should work the same. So if I press the button now, it doesn't work. It will never turn off. Actually, if I turn this off, so if this repeater is off, it will turn on, but it will never turn off okay somewhat i think that this repeater is what makes the the comparator update so even if i if i do the same shape but have the comparator here it will not work so i have to have my comparator here so this is really strange <laughs> but it is but it's interesting sometimes we have some kind of power source right here in the middle and this is the exact shape of the, the, the most convenient t flip flop that we can have in such system, systems uh, this is this is how I actually came up with this design uh, I will uh, in, in the end of the video I will show you one example of this working here I couldn't find a single single place in this uh, in this map here where this specific shape works uh, but I guarantee to you that this actually works okay moving on uh yeah this one 
Uh, this one is also very weird. It's not based on clock. It's based on repeater lock. And once again, I have no idea how this works. All I know is you click it and it changes the state real quick. So this is a fast flip flop considering it's silent and everything. And all you need is a repeater on three ticks and a torch here. And in this configuration, you can power uh, whatever you want. This is very stable. No, no problems, no bugs, no location, no nothing. So feel free to use this for your projects because this is a truly amazing T flip flop. And this is one of my most recent uh, discoveries. I just wanted to show you guys one possibility, like making a silent based on as T flip flop that doesn't require torches. So it's all uh, comparators and uh, and repeaters, of course. So it's falling edge, so it needs it needs to wait for the button to turn off uh, before it works. So you can see the the repeater lock mechanism here. But instead of waiting for those uh, three ticks here and such, we just we just power things uh, directly. So yeah, maybe can maybe I'll be able to make it a little bit faster by placing a torch there. So yeah, you can see here. It's a little bit faster now. Okay, uh, as I told you before, I couldn't find a single place where this thing works. So I actually had to log on to my server uh, and this is the design. So you can see that the, the repeater is off and if I click the button, now it's on and now it's off. So it works perfectly, <laughs> but it's very buggy. I, uh, unless you really need a tiny silent uh, T flip flop in a specific place. I don't recommend using this design here. It has nothing to do with uh, subtraction mode or anything. I can change this uh, anytime and it will still work. Doesn't work with repeaters because it it has to do with the, the update order. So as you can see here, nothing will happen here. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, even if I change this, so you see the configuration I'm using here. If I press F3, you can check out my coordinates. I don't know if it has to do with the, the Z coordinate being negative. Maybe it has to do with this uh, for the update order. Uh, so if I invert the torch, so it's the same circuit, but now the torch is on this side. And if, if I try to power it, it will turn on and never turn off. So this is very much sensitive to the conditions, to, to how it's built. So this is why I don't recommend it. But I still, I wanted to feature this design because it's quite interesting, quite interesting the way it works. And yeah, basically I think that this is all that I wanted to show you today, guys, uh, except maybe for a little little spoiler. Where is it? Where, where is the little spoiler? I think it's up there, yeah, you guys can see because <laughs> I'm not lo loading as many chunks. But other than that, guys, I'll be posting more videos about all that kind of logic stuff and such if you guys are interested. So don't forget to leave a comment uh, on this video if you want to see more things like that on my channel. So other than that, I just want to thank you very much for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye bye.